been a while, but I'm gonna just play Jump Magikarp. I'm gonna have a good time. That's all you need, right? This is the hat that I have right now. I need a different hat. That hat's not gonna cut it. Okay. So they have an Alcree me? I don't really know what that's gonna do. I thought about it for like just G Max, uh, whatever. G Max finale? You know, I can. I briefly considered a couple of these Pokemon. The Conqueror is the only one I'm really afraid of. Um. Hmm. Conqueror is pretty scary, actually. <laughs> um. Well, obviously we're gonna bring Magikarp, and let's go. Let's go Cradley. Let's see how that goes. <clears throat> I don't know about this one. They have a lot of different things going on. Alright, what's the lead here? It is the Conkle there. Oof. Okay. That's actually not great, but it is what it is. I, you know, I don't know if I really had anything to directly beat the Conkleder, so... I guess I'll just max Overgrowth into it. Let's see how much damage we do. <clears throat> Conkleder's pretty bulky, I think. I didn't get myself any water? Man, I really didn't set myself up for success, did I? Alright, so we're maxing. Uh, the, there's a good chance Conkleder's slower than us. I'm not, like, min-speed cradly. So, of course, they could just like protect to get burn because they could be guts. I feel like guts is probably better in this format. No, they are okay. Maybe they do like bounce, max guard, weakness policy proc. I'm very afraid. I think we just lose. I think I didn't prepare for Conkleder, and I don't think I have an answer for it. Okay, cool. Free Storm Drain. They do bounce. And I know I'm faster. <clears throat> so if this is like a two-hit KO, then we might be okay. Let's see how much this does. The next turn, it'll do more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, they went for Hailstorm? That's not even Stab. Um. Okay, so Hail... Hail cancels out? Uh, Grassy Terrain. It's gonna be really close. They definitely get a KO on us next turn. I don't know if we get a KO back. It's going to be really close. At... Oh, but they're going to take burn damage. Oh no, you don't take burn damage, I guess. Er... They will take... I think they do take burn damage. Alright, I'm going to go for it again. Pray I don't get... Um... Oh, and we'll have the terrain boost. Yeah, 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 yeah. This should KO. I think this KOs. As long as we don't get Bounce Paralyzed. Please, no Bounce Paralysis. Bounce Paralysis is the best thing in this format. You're kidding! No! Ugh! I hate that. The only thing I hate is Bounce Paralysis. Damn, bro. 70% chance to win and I just get paralyzed. Or not even 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 more than that, because bounce has a chance to miss. I literally don't think I can win. Damn. I actually I actually should have won this. I'm very upset. I definitely would have KO'd. Alright, well, I, you know, for the sake of saying I didn't just give up, let's try this.
I think this is only the second game that I've lost. Sad. I don't know, maybe if I get bounce paralysis and then like oh I can't even get bounce paralysis. Yeah, we just lose. There's no way. Our our win condition is disconnect. That did a lot of damage. Oh. <laughs> Hey, I, they missed. They bulked up? Hold on. If we crit again, we can win. Maybe. When did my sash get broken? <laughs> if we can win on a bounce crit, I will... I, I would be so surprised. And the burn is helping us. We actually might not even need to crit. I have to just go for it again. <laughs> is this going to become the Magikarp v Magikarp game? I it might. It very well might. Alright. Bet. The hail stops. Um, I think terrain should stop too. Oh, but you get healing on the last turn of terrain, and you don't get hit on the last turn of hail. Hmm. Oh, I okay. You don't get healing from grassy terrain when you bounce, but for some reason you take hail damage. Gotcha. It's gonna be close. I might be able to KO it if we get another bounce crit. Please. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. It's so close. 1 HP. I wish Drain Punch had a chance to miss right now. I just lost to Bounce Paralysis, guys. I'm very sad. This was, this was like, very doable. Almost. If I had, maybe if I still had my Sash, we would have done it. I don't know. It would have been really close. Shame on Bounce for having Paralysis Chance for no reason. These games are so short, like, it's hard to be mad at them for too long. Because, like, yeah, I might lose to Bounce Para, but at least I didn't spend, like, you know, 20 minutes playing a whole game just to lose to Bounce Para, you know what I mean? Ooh, they are rated, like, about 100 points higher than me. They have a pretty standard team. Um, Ferrothorn doesn't always beat Dragapult, but it should pretty reliably beat everything else. I'm, except maybe Mudsdale. I really don't know. I really don't know about Mudsdale. I think I'm gonna go Porygon. I think that's what I need to go. Um, because at least nothing is gonna hit Porygon for weakness, really. But Dragapult is pretty darn scary. Because I don't know if I one hit KO with Max Darkness. And also, they like to just click Ally Switch and substitute and stuff. I wonder if people. I wonder if more people are running Infiltrator Dragapult or, um, or Clear Body. Because I feel like Infiltrator is the better ability, a lot of the time, except for in this Porygon Z matchup where I can just drop your speed by smacking into Magikarp instead. Is it the Dragapult? It is the Dragapult. Okay, that's pretty scary. I think. Here's the thing. Do I want to make a read here? that they're going to, um, like, substitute? Or do I want to just go for it? I think I'm going to make the read. In fact, I might even Blizzard in case they ally switch. I think I'm going to make the read, and if I lose, then I lose. All right, okay. The Magikarp is Scarf. I think they're going to ally switch. Let's see if we got him. They substituted. Okay. As long as we lad the blizzard, this is fine. Oh. Oh, 
I missed. Oof. That's a pretty big oof, I gotta say. Let me think. You think the ally switch? Or you think they're even running it? I think I'll just go for it, because if they ally switch, like at least I knock out Magikarp and that takes that option off the table. I just wish that I had landed the Blizzard, because that would have been a great turn. Big yikes for me. They also still didn't Dynamax. I guess they behind the Substitute, they don't have a reason to, but... There's the Bounce. Do we get Paralyzed? No. Hydro Pump? Oh, they're gonna just give me... Why did that do so much? Why? Wait, why are you running Hydro Pump? Just to give yourself Swift Swim? And their Life Orb. That's so weird. I missed my bounce. It is clear body. Okay. Well. Hmm. I wonder if I just die with that chip. That was a that was significant chip damage. No, they're just going to substitute again. I hate this. If I had just landed the Blizzard turn 1, I'd feel so much better. They're gonna have, like, no HP, but it doesn't really matter. I, I feel like Substitute should be banned from this competition. It's kind of too strong, if I'm being honest. Let me click Hailstorm this next time, just to have Hail Chip happening. Maybe we can beat the Dragapult with Hail Chip. They're maxing now. I wonder if we take an attack. We took a lot from that Hydro Pump. I'm defense invested and not special defense invested. I like how Dragapult disappears for like a frame or two when it's Dynamaxing. It's a very nice touch. Haven't seen the animation in a little while. Oh, they just max guard. Oh, they're they're a bitch ass bitch. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Got gotcha, you. Yeah. <laughs> Hate this. <laughs> Sorry if that was really loud. I'm very frustrated. Oh, I'm paralyzed now. That's fun. That's fun and unique and totally fair. Um, there's no way we take an attack. Like, absolutely no way. If somehow, by the grace of God, we take an attack, maybe we can win, but... I feel like sub twice max guard is just so mean. Sub twice max guard being the optimal strat is really, really mean, and I don't like it. I also have not landed a bounce this whole game. That's worth pointing out. I won't take any damage next turn at least. I suppose technically I could win through like bounce paralysis alone, but... Because their Magikarp will literally never hit me if they keep moving first. This is also their last turn of Dynamax. Bounce para, please? Okay. Alright. I'll take it. If they're, if they're Dragapult slower than me now, that'd actually be really great. I'm also not a PP max. That's pretty bad. All right, I'm going for it again. I don't think they have enough HP for a substitute, so that's at least something. Okay, so they bounce. I should be faster than Dragapult if they're paralyzed, right? I think so. Yeah. 
<laughs> if I somehow win this, I'll be very surprised. Well, they got parried this turn. I need you. To, I need you to get parried next turn. Yo, pop in to say hey and subtly wait for the whole team. Oh, you know what? I, this time I did forget. I'll, I'll work on it. It'll be uh, the next video will probably be the jump. This jump magic carp stream, and then the video after that will be will be ho -Oh. Good thing I'm Sash. Now our flail is gonna hit really hard. But I'll never be able to hit this, uh... Oh, did I miss my bounce? That's pretty bad. Yeah, my next video will probably be the this stream, and then the, I'll do a whole other video after that. I got you. I promise. Yeah, I definitely should have PP maxed my moves, but I didn't think I'd play any games that were this long. Does Draco Meteor have a chance to miss? Does anybody remember? I also have no way to hit their their Magic Carp unless it misses me. Please KO. <gasps> the crit, Magic Carp, Magic Carp, you're doing the most right now, buddy. Five hundred Burb teams. No, I have ideas. I mean, I've definitely used Holo before. I needed their bounce to miss for me to win. And even then, I don't know if Flail does it. Alright, let's see if their bounce misses. Or if they beat me with, with sub-stall max guard. Please miss. They missed! Okay, magic card. Okay. Alright, we're so close. We're so close. Please... As long as they're not out of bounces, we can do this. Okay. They have to miss one more bounce. <laughs> this is... Oh my gosh. This is the most stressed I've ever been in a battle, and it's... It's... It's fucking Magic Carp Mirror. Okay, please, miss the bounce, miss the bounce, miss the bounce, miss the bounce. No! No! He got rewarded for playing stupid strats. Dang, bro. So close. I'm a little sad. I'm, I'm actually very sad. <laughs> hey, this team's... That's an Amoongus. And a Charizard. Um... Let's think. I think... I think I have to go Cradley. Man, I'm so sad. That last game was so close. 30% chance to win. Or, it's not. What is what is bounce accuracy? Is it 85? 15% chance to win. Okay, they're just playing Policy Charizard, I think. We should beat this. I don't think we go down to, to Policy Max move. I don't know if Charizard learns any Steel-type moves. Let's look it up really quick. Let's see here. Does it learn like Flash Cannon? It learns Steel Wing. It learns Steel Wing and Iron Tail, and that's that's it, I think. Oh wait. It gets Metal Claw through breeding. Um, alright, well then I'm just gonna... They can't, they can't even trigger policy if they have it, so... What a bad time for Joy-Con Drift to happen. What, a, what an awful time for Joy-Con Drift to happen. That, that almost made me pick the wrong move. Yeah, I think we just win then. Because they can't even trigger policy at this point. And, and if they're physical... The best level up move for Charmander. It's not a level up move. It's only, it only gets it by breeding this gen. Yeah, that's not gonna... Oh, I didn't Dynamax? It's a good thing I'm Power Herb. I hope I don't miss. If I miss, I'm gonna cry. Cradley? Cradley, please. 
Cradley, please. Please land this. Joy-Con Drift made me not max you. I need you to do this, buddy. You got this. I'm so sad. Joy-Con Drift made me lose this game. Not only did I not max because of Joy-Con Drift, but then I missed the Meteor Beam. And let's add insult to injury. Oh yeah, there's no way I take an attack from this Charizard. Like, at all. I'm actually, I actually should have won this. 100% would have just won on turn one. Hey man, how's it going? You're just in time to see me lose to Joy-Con Drift. I even missed the bounce. Oof. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give up. I I can't win this game. And it's entirely not even my fault. You know, let's see how much the hydro pump does. Let's see if I'm fast enough to land the hydro pump. Let's see if the hydro pump how much it does. Blast burn? Wow. Have you ever been so close to greatness and literally just... <laughs> oh, okay, well, it's fine. We still have like like 35 more games we can play. That's a cool awesome. Um, none of this beats, beats Cradley, so that's what we're gonna bring. Sorry, not sorry. It's the Cradley show right now. Cradley, Cradley, the best Pokemon on my team, Cradley. Alright, what do you got, buddy? They 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 led for Cradley, but unfortunately, um Galarian Darmanitan does not knock out Cradley before Cradley knocks out Galarian Darmanitan, so. Because they just straight up go down to max rockfall. And I can't miss Hydro Pump because it's Storm Drain. So. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, ah. Should have taken a nap. They didn't Dynamax. What are they doing? I mean, I guess, I guess maybe with Gorilla Tactics you do more damage. I don't know, but not with Ice Pump. Whoa! 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 That's got to be Choice Band, right? Choice Band Gorilla Tactics Ice Punch. <laughs> Holy cow! Holy cow! I mean, we didn't die, but Jesus Christ! Ice Punch is not a very strong move. Ice School Crash would have KO'd. Let's just all take a moment to let that sink in. Ice School Crash would have KO'd and we would have lost.
All right, well, I guess I need to be more careful about, um... More careful around Galarian Darmanitan because sheesh. That shouldn't KO? Wow, it does. Ooh, that's really bad. Oh, they crit us. Okay. And we've taken a turn of Sandstorm damage, I want to say. Yeah, I know he can still win. I'm faster, right? So going for bounce isn't really going to get me anywhere. I need to... I need to Hydro Pump because it's going to do more damage because Magikarp has worse special defense than defense. Even though on max attack it will do more damage. Because they might just be locked into bounce. <laughs> Alright, so they do just bounce. Um, so if I bounce next turn, that's in my favor. Because I'm faster. I've moved first every time. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just bounce now. The, these Magikarp 1v1s are so scary. Now that we're in this in this uh, bounce back and forth, oh, they still have their Dynamax. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> they still have their whole Dynamax. Oof! Ah! I didn't know that the Ice Punch was gonna do so much. Oh, they Max Guard. Interesting. But why, why would you do that? You have a guaranteed hit to me this turn. If I bounce again, you don't get to hit me at all. Yeah, I'm just gonna bounce again. I guess they, they might get to hit me once, but it shouldn't be the end of the world? I don't know. It seems like they're bulky and I am uh, max attack, so we'll see. Maybe they'll max guard again to not take damage. We're both Swift Swim too, I'm assuming. You hate Dynamax? I only hate it occasionally. Yeah, they max guard again. This was a stupid way to use their Dynamax. They could have hit me for free. <laughs> well, there goes their Dynamax. Um, I wonder if... I think Tackle does more. This, he, he really did. He really did. I think Tackle probably does more than Flail at this point. I think they, they actually might even be the same. Ooh, they Hydro Pump now. How much do we take from this? Probably too much, right? <laughs> Not the crit! Ah. Oh. If they if if we had lived that flail would have KO'd next turn. I definitely want to say that we lived that without the crit. There's no way. Um Tyranitar I think is running steel coverage right now, which makes it pretty darn scary. And they can also run fire fang, I think. So So what? So we go Hey, please Joy-Cons. Thank you. So we go what? I'm a little scared, honestly. I... Cradle is not safe. Ferrothorn's not safe. So we either have to go PZ or, or, or Incin, I guess. But I think Incin just loses to the Colossal. I don't Maybe I take a Vocalith if I Dynamax. Maybe. I'm pretty bulky. But... Incineroar definitely... I do have fighting coverage. Alright, let's try it. No, no, because I, I definitely just lose the Lapras, right? I don't know. Let's try. Let's go for it. Why not? 
Why not? We already just lost like three in a row to 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 to, to stuff that was out of my control a little bit. They went Comfey? Okay. Um, what does Comfey do? Is my question. Because I'm not sure. I know it can ally switch. I think I'm going to play it safe. I'm just going to tackle. And... I think I'm gonna ma try to max Quake. Yeah, but it wouldn't be unkillable. I mean, all you really have to do is knock out the Comfey, you know what I mean? I think I'm just gonna max Quake to raise my special defense because I don't know what they're doing. They could just bounce Ally Switch, which would be pretty mean and pretty effective, honestly. Alright, now we're big Incineroar. They flailed. They flailed into their Comfe to get Keyberry. I guess. All right, well, if they were Sash, they're no longer Sash. Ooh, okay. That's a thing you can do. Oh, so the, their plan is that Comfe can't die. Um, honestly, not a big fan. Well, I can go ahead and trigger my weakness policy, I guess. And I'm going to max Quake again just to keep making myself bulkier because that's really all I can do right now. Charm Comfe, huh? It's not even like priority. All right, you did three HP. That was a crit. All right, we got our weakness policy. I wish I had a special attack. That'd be kind of useful right now. Oh, come on. Can you can you do something else? All right, now we're plus two special defense. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bounce targeting their Magikarp. And I guess I should just KO the Magikarp. I'm not going to KO it at minus four, am I? I'll just... Mm, mm, yeah, let me just flare. I think I want the sun up. Just in case. At least our Magikarp hasn't been charmed, which is, helps a little bit, I guess. Oh my goodness. Why? Why are you doing this to me? I just want the game to be over in a couple turns. Everybody's playing stall. Who would have known? I'm going to prioritize knocking out the... It's just the target stat changes. Oh, oops. Oops. That's not, was not what I was trying to click. It's, it's whatever. It probably doesn't matter. I think our Magikarp's doing more damage than our Incineroar at this point. A nice Burning Jealousy would probably be pretty nice, wouldn't it? Are they going to max now? <laughs> sure. Go for it. They're going to max the Magikarp. Okay. Well, that's actually pretty mean, I got to say. Because they're probably just going to max Geyserus, right? I can't really do anything about that. Um, they shouldn't do... Okay, I'm actually, I don't know if I'm worried anymore. Because that didn't really do any damage. 
<clears throat> Can you stop that? That's so mean. That's so mean. I accidentally darkest lariated the freaking Comfe though. Oh, that does no damage. I mean, I guess I wasn't expecting it to. I'm gonna go ahead and bounce the Magikarp again. And this time I'll Darkest Larry at the Magikarp, which is what I was trying to do. Oh, there's the Giga Drain. Been waiting for it the whole game. Wow, I'm about to lose to this Confei. I'm pretty mad. Honestly, I'm, I'm a little upset. At least the Magikarp's not doing much damage, but they're going to whittle down my Incineroar before I can beat them. Oh, they're not running Draining Kiss either. I guess I could crit. That would probably help. I would have to crit the Comfe though with Flare Blitz and I can't do that. They literally have one HP on this Magikarp. Well, I'll try to bounce again, but I'm not going to get it. I'm probably going to have to take a Hydro Pump. Yo, man, I... <laughs> I don't know what happened. This Comfe really just did his job a little too well. I should have brought Cradley. Sometimes you just you lose the, twin co the coin toss. Okay, actually, wait, let's think about this. Realistically, realistically, this Compe doesn't really have a way to damage me. All they have is Giga Drain. So as long as I'm doing a lot more damage to them than they're doing to me, we'll be okay. But they're a plus one defense. And I'm at like minus six attack. I don't think I'm gonna do enough to cancel it out. Yeah, no. Oh, but the rain stopped. So I can Flare Blitz now. If I, like, crit Flare Blitz, maybe. It's going to do a lot more damage than Stomping Tantrum, but we're going to take Recoil. I don't think I can Timer Stall. I don't have enough HP. Oh, we actually did do more damage than, than they healed. Oh, please! Oh my goodness! Please! Yeah, but I wasn't gonna pull a 2v1 against the Comfe. They have Giga free Giga Drain into Magikarp whenever they want. I can't protect or anything. I need to crit. I need to like super ultra mega crit. Incineroar, please, can you crit Flare Blitz for me? Just once. Please, it's in a roar. We got a burn. That helps a little bit. The burn's gonna do more damage than we are. I'm gonna stop clicking Flare Blitz because it's it's just gonna give us recoil. Um, let's think. So this will be stab, but it'll be halved because. Uh, but we'll ignore the defense drop. We'll ignore their defense boost. So I think Darkest Lariat does more damage because it'll ignore their defense boost. There's also, like, just hella timer left. Was that a crit? <laughs> I'll take it. Um. Yikes, man. I need to crit more times, probably. That three damage they're doing is really piling up. <laughs> this 
This is so dumb. Aw, oh, man. The only reason I have a chance is because they're burned. Does Stomping Tantrum do more? I have no idea. I think Flare Blitz does the most, but the... You're kidding! They're running Synthesis? This Confei... Oh my god. I'm so angry at some of these games that I've played. If they're running Synthesis, I don't think we can win. Alright, I have to just hope that I can Super Ultra Mega Crit a Flare Blitz. I think. I think that's the only way I can win. Just disconnect, please. You don't deserve this. Oh my god. The freaking synthesis. It's only because I brought Incineroar. If I had brought literally any other Pokemon, we could have done this because we would have attacked before the freaking attack drop. Or at least it wouldn't have mattered because it would have been hitting for weakness. But because I brought Incineroar, I don't have the tools to deal with this Confei. And that's really just it. I need to crit- if I crit Flare Blitz, I might KO. And that's really sad. I pretty much have to crit a Flare Blitz. I have to crit the very last Flare Blitz. Are you ready? Can we do it? Because I think I take one more Giga Drain. Oh no, apparently I don't. Apparently they high rule and I don't take it. I'm so upset. <laughs> Dang, man. Literally any other Pokemon on my team would have won this. I'm so mad. I was talking to my friend who mostly just plays Smogon singles about this tournament. Or this competition and they were like... I was like, they were like, what do you run on Magikarp? And I was just, the only four moves you can run? And they were like, no Twister? I was like, no. <laughs> you can't use event moves from past generations? That hasn't been a thing for a little while. Um. Okay, so I'm, I'm afraid of Cinderace. But other than Cinderace, I want to bring Cradley. So I think I'm gonna try to bring Cradley. Maybe I should I should have just ran Babiri Berry Cradley, honestly. That probably would have been great. Okay, so they're going Cradley, but they're shiny Cradley, so maybe we'll lose because of that. Um, I never figured out how Storm Drain double Storm Drain works. So I think it goes to the faster Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna go ahead and just max Quake. We'll see who gets the Hydro Pump boost. I hope it's me. Alright, looks like we're faster, or they didn't Dynamax. I did lose to like a, uh, like a... What is the name of the move? The one that goes with Swallow and Spit Up. They are maxing, okay. I think it just goes to the faster one, but I don't actually know. I could not find an answer online. I thought it would be very important to know, but apparently the internet doesn't think so. Because a lot of discourse on the internet is about singles. Alright, it goes to me. Stockpile. I get both, I get both Hydro Pumps because I'm the faster Cradley. I think it is a speed thing, which is nice because I didn't run Min Speed Cradley. Holy cow, that's a bulky boy. Um, that is a bulky boy. 
I didn't want to run recover. Alright, so... So what? They are so bulky. I am afraid. That is a lot of special defense. All right, I'm gonna hydro pump again, I guess. Huh. Oh, they have decided that they can't win because they can't hydro pump themselves. Works for me. Well, Ferrothorn's pretty scary, honestly. Not gonna lie. Ferrothorn, I think, always beats Cradley in a 1v1, and it's not even like close. But, I think, oh man, this is such a rock, paper, scissors game. I really just have to guess here what they're going to bring. I think I'm going to go Porygon, because it might have the best chance into everything, but I don't feel very good about bringing Porygon. It's definitely still very scary. Okay, so they go Cole. Um, Porygon's matchup into Cole is just okay. Uh, I actually don't think I've ever played Porygon into a Cole team. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get my thing. And what's gonna do the most damage here? It's gonna be max overgrowth, unfortunately. Which is probably not gonna do enough, but... I was about to say, oh, I'm faster, but they're, they're gonna trigger... Uh, steam engine, so that doesn't really matter. I feel like a piece of coal should be an item that gives you a speed boost when you get hit by a water or fire type attack. That'd be really neat. Just one speed boost, not, you know, six. But, like, one speed boost? That'd be pretty cool. This is gonna be... I don't know, I might just lose, honestly. Let's see, they're probably Scarf Magikarp. Oh, they aren't Scarf Magikarp. Interesting. AP, A, APM EST? Okay. Oh, they didn't go for it. Or their Magikarp's just slower than my Porygon. That's good damage. It's not gonna be enough damage, but it's good damage. Maybe they thought I was going to Hydro Pump them. Yeah, they flail. Okay. And they go for Vocalith? Yeah, there it is. How much do we take from that? Not too much. I think we can take another one. Which means we can probably KO at least their Colossal. Oof. Vocalith does so much damage. It's wild watching, like, Hail so many times, and then you see Vocalith, and you're like, wow, that is like two times more damage than hail yeah i think our next one ko's um i'm gonna go ahead and try to bounce out of the way here go for the max overgrowth especially if they hydro pump themselves i think our next one ko's and we live i think it's gonna be close I've never noticed that the stripe on the center of Porygon is not even. It's crooked. So they didn't... No, their Magikarp's slower than ours. In fact, their Magikarp is slower than our Porygon. Um, they really needed to trigger their own weak, uh, their own Steam Engine last turn. Nice. Okay, well, I don't think I would run Cole with slow Magikarp, but, you know, it's each their own. They didn't even click Hydro Pump. Weird. You know, I had the perfect opportunity to play Cole, and I just didn't, because I didn't think it was good. I don't know if it actually beats anything, like, reliably. The best grass type in the format is Porygon Z. It's actually the second best. The first best grass type is Cradley. Cradley, and then Porygon Z. Um, and then Ferrothorn. 
Okay. The Metagross and the PZ. Mmm. Oh, it's P2. Did I say PZ? I definitely, it's definitely P2. I think I either go PZ or... I think I have to just go PZ. Yeah. And I, I hope it works. Incineroar could be good, but... I don't know if Incineroar 1v1's a Cradle Leaf. To be honest with you. That's the only reason. Man, I have this Cinderace, but I haven't brought it. I probably should have just used a different Pokemon, I guess. On everything has fire coverage. It's kind of hard to justify Ferrothorn. But the reason everything has fire coverage is because of Ferrothorn, kind of. And also, because all Magikarp can do really is trigger weakness policy. That's a Metagross. Okay. All right. I'm down with that. Do you think it's weakness policy? I don't know if that matters. We might be faster than it. I'm going to go ahead and trigger my Absorb Bulb. And I'm just going to go for the Max Darkness and hope that we knock it out. Metagross is, is bulky, but it's not very specially bulky. Let's find out. So we max first. So either they didn't max, which Metagross does learn Ally Switch. So it's definitely possible. Or they're slower than us. Okay, cool. No Ally Switch. Ugh, I am so scared of Bounce Ally Switch. It's so mean and it's so good. So as long as we don't like trigger weakness policy and the KO is back, I feel pretty good about this. We should probably at least take one hit from them. We haven't missed a Hydro Pump yet. I'm very happy about that. They do bounce. Pretty much the only move that Magikarp can click on a lot of teams. Let's see how much we do. Wow, that's a bulky boy. Please don't be weakened. Please tell me that's Assault Vest. It is. Okay. So that's damage. It's not that bad. Um, I think we three hit KO them before they KO us. Maybe. I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna just bounce now into their Magikarp, I guess. And go for another Max Darkness. Please don't parry me. Oh, not yet. Alright, please don't Paralysis me. Oh, is it my Magikarp? Great, perfect. We made exactly the right play. Dang, bro. They EV'd for that to be, like, no damage. This must be very specially bulky. They max Knuckle again. This shouldn't KO us. <laughs> but it's gonna be really close. Um, alright, let's see if they're running Protect. We might be in, uh, like, Bullet Punch range, so this is gonna be pretty dicey. Alright, they bounce, they just no Protect. No Protect, that's our bounce. Because we're faster. Our Magikarp is the superior Magikarp. Alright, cool. We got this. It was very close and very scary. But... I don't know, I feel like, I feel like Steel Spike might have done more damage than Max Knuckle last turn. Actually, I think it absolutely would have done more damage. It would have been like, what, one, 130 times 1.5? That sounds like more than 190. A lot more. Um, I'll just bounce again. Honestly, I don't have any reason to do anything else. And... I guess I'll go for Dark Pulse. <laughs> Here's the bounce on my end. I can I can't keep track of which Magikarp is bouncing. It's really confusing me. Into my Porygon. Ooh, we don't take that. Oh, <gasps> Porygon, the goat. Porygon was very angry. <laughs> mm. 
Very nice. Huh, Kingdra. Kingdra's interesting. The Corviknight is very scary. Um, because if I lead Cradley and they lead Corviknight, I think we just lose. Does, does Kingdra get like a fire type attack? I don't think it does. But, you know, I've been wrong before. I should probably check the Toxicroak too. It probably gets Fire Punch. Alright, Kingdra the Dragon Pokemon does not get Flamethrower, which is very nice for us. Toxicroak. Because then I, I think Ferrothorn might be our guy here. I don't know if it explicitly beats Corviknight, but at least there's a better chance than some of the other Mons. No, it just it it gets fighting, but it does not get like fire punch. So I think I think Ferrothorn's our guy. The first game we're bringing Ferrothorn to, and only because I'm afraid of Corviknight. Corviknight looks very scary. <laughs> I was thinking about running it, but I was like, you know, how do you beat Cinderace? It's the same problems. All of the Steel types. Um, it's only self-harm if you run dry skin. They went for Grim, so I think... Ooh, wait, 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 Grim. Grim Snarl definitely gets a fire move. Right? I'm not crazy. Yeah, Grim Snarl gets fire punch. Oh, that's really bad. I hope they're not running it. We can only win if they're not running Fire Punch. Alright, time to find out. If it were me, I'd probably run Fire Punch, but I don't think I did. Um, what is- Magikarp can't trigger weakness policy on Grimstar. It's good, I've, I've, I've like seen it. I've tested it out a little bit before, but I actually prefer Weakness Policy Pickpocket uh, Weavile. It's a little scarier because it's fast. I need to get me another monitor, man. Alright, Bounce. That's my Magikarp. Bloop. Next is probably their Magikarp, which goes for Splash. I guess they don't think I can... I think they have the Fire Punch. They don't! It does look pretty passive. They also didn't get the Sleep Chance, so we kind of just win. Because they don't... It doesn't look, if they had Fire Punch, they definitely would have gone for it. Oh, it is? It is not weakness policy. Okay. I was about to say, there's the weakness policy, but no. Alright, yeah. We just win. Big Ferrothorn. Huge shout out to, to Giga for letting us borrow their Ferrothorn. I really was, too. They would, I mean, they would only get an Assault Vest, which, which, which really wouldn't help them right now, but... Why did they max guard? Were they not paying attention? They didn't get the sleep chance. I'm just gonna steal spike again. And I'm gonna bounce again. Because why not? I don't have anything better to do. Alright, we bounce. Shloop. Shloop. They splash again. Do they only have splash? I think they only have Slash. I think they're trying to flex. Let's see if they get the sleep this time. Not that it would really matter. They did. They got the Drowsy this time. But it doesn't affect Magikarp. I don't, I don't. I don't know if that's because it's bounced or if it's because they just didn't get it. I didn't need a crit, but I'll take it.
Um, well. Goodbye, Magikarp. Oh. <laughs> this guy's 1700. Um, I feel like he's probably just gonna try hard us with the with the Dragapult. What do you guys think? Dragapult? No. Okay, alright. So we should be able to win this most of the time. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna just bounce because I don't need to give myself my thing. And I'm going to max strike. And if I've done my EVs right. I calc to be faster than Cinderace at minus one. And I have 100 defense so I can live. So as long as all of our calcs are correct, we should win here. Probably. Although I did lose to a Cinderace yesterday because they max striked in this scenario, so we'll see. All right, they do Dynamax. That's fine. At least it should be. Though if they max strike, then that's not good. We want to see like Knuckle or or uh, Fireball. And hopefully not weakness policy. Because I don't know if I take it with weakness policy. But there's a good chance. Oh no, 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 because the, there was a cult, right? The cult also should be weakness policy, so we should be good. Oh, they are weakness policy? Okay, Porygon, please, just hang on. All you gotta do is take one attack. Porygon, please. Porygon, please. I EV'd for this. Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Okay, 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 okay. Bet. Okay, and we should outspeed now, but I don't know if we outspeed the Magikarp, so that, that might be kind of scary. We'll see. They could just, like, Max Guard too, huh? I, I kind of have to just hope that they don't. I can't really do anything about it. They do just Max Guard. Yeah, that's fair. Um, as long as they miss the Hydro Pump, we'll be okay. Please miss the Hydro Pump. Oh, they're not Scarf. And they also don't miss, but we took it! We take the Hydro Pump, and they give us our Absorb Ball! Let's go! Oh, but I'm not faster than their Magikarp. So maybe I EV'd wrong. Fuck. Oh, it is Scarf. It's, we outspeed now. They are Scarf. Damn it. Um... Um, they could miss Hydro Pump. Please miss. Just please miss the Hydro Pump. You don't deserve this. I tried so hard. Please miss the Hydro Pump. Oh my God! <laughs> the one, the one weakness policy Cinderace on a colossal team. Dang, bro. Well, they will be fighting type when I hit them next turn. Maybe I just KO. And I guess they could protect, but hopefully they don't protect. Let's see. Don't protect. Let me hit you and get KO'd. Dang, man. It sucks to EV for something and still not be able to beat it. People run and protect on Cinderace. It's wild out here. What? 
It has ally switch too! So it doesn't have protect. It has ally switch. That's so mean. Get paralyzed, please. They don't even miss the hydro pump. That's so mean. Yeah, I'm just gonna bounce again. What else can I do? Let's see if they have Sucker Punch. They do. Oof. Oof. Ah, oh, I'm so frustrated. Yikes. Erm. Um. Yeah, alright. I might just lose this one. Tyranitar's kind of scary. I don't know. It's like, it is and it isn't scary. It just has so many options for coverage is why it's scary. Alright, they went for the Cinderace. Um, we probably win this, I think. We at least get an Intimidate drop, which is very nice. I wonder if they just ally switch. How mean are they? Right, I'm gonna bounce. And... I'll just go for Max Flare. They're probably gonna ally switch. No, they done an axe. Okay, cool. Great, perfect. Tasty. Mm -hmm. Water. Okay, what do we got? If they trigger our weakness policy for us, that'd be great. Please max knuckle into my incinerator. Yes. Yes. It's all coming together. How much does this do? <laughs> not a lot at all. Because they are still at minus one. So they're not running Scarf Magikarp weakness policy on this team. Which tells me the policy is probably on the Tyranitar, but that doesn't really matter. Unless somehow I get paired against them again. They are just bulky magic carpet, looks like. Ow. That's big damage. We definitely take the next uh, max knuckle, I'm pretty sure. I have no reason not to just max flare again. I don't know how they win. Their max knuckle isn't gonna KO. In fact, high jump kick would have done more damage, but it also wouldn't have KO'd, so. They max knuckle again. I guess they could crit. I don't think a crit would have even done it. Oh no, because they would ignore their attack drop. Oh no, because they're not attack dropped anymore. They're at neutral now. Alright, here's the bounce. Shoot, bam! That's a lot of damage. They just Hydro Pump again, that's all they can do. That poor Magic Carp. Nice. Hey, good. Good job, Incineroar. You did your job. I guess if I expect uh, Cinderace, then then Incineroar is better. I'll just max darkness. It doesn't matter. I could click any of them probably. 
Yeah, big oof, buddy. Sorry. Okay, that's a chancy. That's very scary. Um. So I guess. Oh man, the fair, the the Dracovish though. Do they even risk bringing Dracovish? Is my question. I want to say that Cinderace probably one v ones Colossal, but I don't know that for sure. And I want to say that they'll never bring Gastrodon or Dracovish, but I'm also not sure about that. It's gonna be it's gonna be a toss up, I think. If they bring Dracovish and they fish us Ren though, we might just KO them back, to be honest. So it might not be the end of the world because I don't think we go down to fish us Ren if we Dynamax. It's the Chansey, okay? All right, I think we got this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just max flare into it. I think that does the most damage. Cause stab. Let me see. So your 140 plus stab is 70. That's 200 and yeah, it's more than max knuckle. Yeah, so I'm gonna max flare. And try to trigger my weakness policy and hopefully get that too. They also can't do any minimize shenanigans as long as I'm Dynamax. Are they maxing the Chansey or are they maxing the Magic card? Let's find out. It's the Magic Carp. There he is. The big Magic Carp. <laughs> I love how Magic Carp's animations are like flips. It's so nice. Um, actually, wait. Wait a second, because Max Geyser before my Max Flare makes me do a lot less damage, doesn't it? And they're gonna trigger my policy for me. But I'm gonna trigger it already. I didn't consider Magikarp maxing here, but I guess you don't really want to max Chansey. Oh, the Airstream. Interesting. Okay. So we might just knock out Chansey then. Let's see. Now it's faster Chansey. Does it have Charm? Substitute? Well, that's bad. That's bad. I also missed my Hydro Pump. Well, let's see, as long as we break the Substitute, it's fine. Do we break it? Okay, all right, that's scary. The Airstream was just to make them faster than us. Okay, I see. I'm gonna go ahead and just Knuckle then. Um, I know it does less damage, but just, cause, just in case they take the Sun away from me. And I'm gonna bounce into the Chansey slot just for extra. Who knows? Maybe Chansey's defense is low enough that ma that that the bounce like drops the sub next turn. Does Chansey get an ally switch? It might. It probably does. I feel like that makes sense to me. They do go for the geyser, so they're gonna give us our policy. They go for the geyser into Magikarp though. Very interesting. Maybe they know that we're weakness policy. But that's okay. I really just have to hit this Chansey once. They don't have any... I guess they could be running Defense Curl, but what's that going to do? They have the charm! Brother! Not another charm guy. Okay, at least we're knuckling. How much does this do? Holy cow, why does that do no damage, brother? I am shocked that that did so little damage. I guess it's not stab or anything, and I'm at minus two attack now, but... God damn, given the chancy a speed boost just to do this to me? Every time I- almost every time I brought Incineroar, they had some weird charm crap. Very not nice. It's not giving. They airstream again, okay. Fair enough. We'll see how much the bounce does, I guess. A paralysis would be pretty nice. Here's the bounce. Ooh, para. Please let Knuckle move next. 
No. Okay, so the Chansey was faster than me already. They didn't need Airstream. But now Magikarp's at plus two attack, which is pretty helpful. And I don't think they have enough HP to to substitute anymore. Which is good. But also they broke my Sash, so... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this is such a weird game. Why are some of these games so funky? Um, I'm going to go ahead and Darkest Lariat there. And just... No. I have to punish them if they're going to go for a healing move, right? Yeah, so I guess let me just double into the... Into the Chansey slot. I don't like that. So they bounce. That's fine. I didn't target them. I'm glad I didn't target them. That does no damage. No, please! Come on! <laughs> Chansey! Stop it! Ah! I don't want to play this game anymore. Give me a crit. Oh, come on. I mean, I have superpower, I guess. Their Magikarp's faster than me now. I'm gonna have to bounce. I'm at, I'm at least at plus two on Magikarp, I guess. They bounce into... Okay, that's fine. I was thinking I had to punish the soft boil, but I didn't punish it enough. Okay, okay, that's good. How much does superpower do? I know I'm at minus four attack, but... Okay, that's a good chunk. Now I'm at minus five attack. Um, I guess just let me superpower again. Maybe the bounce will just KO, but probably not. If this Chansey wasn't at plus two speed, it might be slower than my Incineroar and I might have a chance, but they tackle. Here's the bounce. Goodness gracious. Please. Oh my god. Bro, why? A crit would be just, just fantastic right now. Alright, it's not raining anymore. Alright, I'm gonna... No, wait. What if they just bounce? I'm out of superpowers, huh? Alright, I'm gonna click it one more time. I don't think my attack can go any lower anyway. And... I'm going to bounce their Magikarp. If they're faster than me, and they bounce this turn, they don't. They tackle again. They're really trying to wear down my Incineroar. I need to get rid of their Magikarp, because at, the mo at this point in time, um, Timer Stall might just be my win condition. I really needed a crit. I still have attack drop. I still have attack to drop. I'm surprised. Um, I guess let me just Darkest Larry at the Magikarp. Let's hope it doesn't bounce. No, you're kidding. The one turn. The one turn. I needed them not to bounce. They, they finally go for it. Oh my goodness. This Chansey is, is literally going to give me a hernia. Please. Missing doesn't count as failing, right? Yeah, let me just Larry at the Magikarp. And, God, I'm almost out of bounces. I'm going to click Flail just in case they, they bounced my Magikarp. They did. I clicked the right move, and I don't I don't get rewarded for it. Do 
Do they not have seismic toss? Or like a way to damage me? I'll just stomping tantrum just to waste a turn. Let me flail into Chansey for a little bit of damage. They're probably gonna bounce again, right? No, they just they keep not clicking bounce. Interesting. There's the substitute. Jeez Louise, man. Oh, because they have so wait, they've only clicked three moves, right? At least Flail has a lot of PP, I guess. They still have so many soft boils, though. <laughs> I think their special attack invested. Soft boiled again. Oh, please! I'm so afraid this Magikarp's gonna bounce when I target into it. That I'm afraid to target into it. I'm not having fun right now. I guess if it doesn't have a way to damage me, which I don't know. I have no idea if it has a way to damage me or not. I guess let me just target down the the freaking magic carp and get rid of it so I can win the 2v1. How? How do they know? Every time I target this magic carp, it bounces. Literally every time. There's the seismic toss. Oh, please. I didn't think I'd get walled by Chansey with a physical mon. I'm so mad. This man really said, nah, I'm going to bring Chansey and ruin your whole day. There's so much time left, too. I'm just going to start running down the timer because that's all I can do, but I don't think I'm going to be able to stall for long enough. My plus two attack Magikarp is used. Yo, man, Chansey's defense is so bad. How am I not doing any damage to it? I'm a little frustrated if I'm being honest. Please be in the Magikarp. You punk. Okay, a crit? I'll take it. Let me get a crit with the Darkest Lariat, please. There's the Seismic Toss again. Punk ass, punk ass. I'm so mad at this Chansey. You think they're gonna bounce now, or you think they're just gonna be a punk? I guess we'll find out. I need my magic card to take damage so Flail actually does something. You little punk! Stop that! They are winning the mind game. One million percent they're winning the mind game. And I'm very frustrated. I have two HP. Every time I think they're gonna bounce, they don't bounce. And every time I go, okay, I'll attack you, they bounce. It's really making me mad. And I still have- I don't want to play this game anymore. I give up. I'm so mad. I'm so angry. Uh, 1709. Oof. Um, okay. This is a very scary team. A lot. Yes. Um, a lot of Scarf Carp with Colossal. A lot of Scarf Carp with Cinderace with Weakness Policy. I guess I go Ferrothorn here. <clears throat> I don't really know if I beat the the Dragapult though is the problem, but I don't really have a better option than that, huh? All right, they went Primarina. We win. GGS. Um, max, overgrowth, bounce. 
Why did they go Primarina? I feel like Primarina is probably the worst Pokemon that could have picked in the most of our mons. Everything on our team just kind of 1v1s the Primarina. I don't, does Primarina get a fire type move? I guess it might. I'd be surprised, but only a little bit. Let's look it up. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it before before we see what move they pick. No. 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 Primarina doesn't get any fire type moves. Man, imagine if we had hidden power. How strong would hidden power be in this format right here? Are they absorb bulb? They must be, because they targeted themselves. Let's see. That's not a lot of damage. <laughs> How much is the the overgrowth gonna do though? That's good damage. Two hit KO, I'll take it. All right, well, goodbye, Primarina. Oh, I, I guess. I don't know what that really gets you, but it's a move you can click. Bounce. Magikarp was like on your left. Peony's theme is my favorite. Um, I'm gonna just Hydro Pump, I guess, just for damage. It probably it might do more than the bounce did. Oh, they went for the double max card. Just to stall, probably. Oh, I missed. Oh, no, they missed. Did I miss? <laughs> that animation for Hydro Pump on Magikarp is not very good. Goodbye, Primarina. Gotta get rid of the magic hurt. I'm gonna just body press, it should do enough damage. And I'll just tackle. Just the good old tackle. You know? Ah. Fair enough. I think PZ cleans up here. Pretty easily. Ferrothorn also might? Is that a Whimsicott? What is the Whimsicott for? Ferrothorn could be good. I think I want to go Ferrothorn, actually, because it's a little bit better into P2. All right, Chance. Chance the VGC player. Ch Chance the Pokemon player. What do we got, Chance? Those are some... You, I didn't know those boots existed in this game. This man's got his Tims on. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think we just win. Though... Um, um, what was I gonna say? Freaking, what is, what is the words, the words? Perish Song. Perish Song would be kind of scary, and since they didn't Dynamax, I think that's what they're going for. So, you know, Bounce Perish Song can be pretty good. I believe that's what Wolfie played with Azuma.
But as long as I kill the Magikarp, then... And I'm the faster Magikarp. That's not good, actually. Unless we're speed tying. Which is entirely possible. But yeah, I think they went for Parish Song. There it is. But my Magikarp also dodged the Parish Song. So... I'm down with playing the, the Magikarp 1v1 if that's what it comes down to. Alright, so we only do like 50%. That's not great, but it's not awful. Um, and I do get a free hit on their Magikarp next turn, probably. And if we are speed tying, maybe I'll get lucky and they'll come down first. Alright, yeah, so I'm going to overgrow the Magikarp slot. Because I'm slower than this magic than this Lapras. At least I better be. I'm zero speed Ferrothorn. This is the one Pokemon in the format I think it's better to run zero speed on. Minus the Parish Song Pokemon, I guess. Huge, huge Parish Song dodge. I wonder if the Lapras protects here. They do not. Also, our Magikarp is is either faster or we won the speed tie twice. That's a little bit. They did break our sash and they got the para. Oof. That's rough. Oh. Yikes. Yikes. That's pretty bad. Am I going to lose to Parish Song? Are they Sash? Yeah. Mmm. I just did knock out the Magikarp. Two, huh? Okay. So I got two turns. Um, this is... Doable, I think? But... I have to get lucky, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and target the Magikarp just in case. The Lapper shouldn't be able to KO me. So they're gonna max now. Okay. Is that the Magikarp or is it the Lapras? Um, it's the Lapras. Okay, so they don't have the option to max guard on me. Which is really good. They'd have to get a two-hit KO on my Ferrothorn to beat me. Oh, they Hydro Pump. Oh, we just win. Cool, GG's. Have fun. They were hoping I'd target the, the Lapras and not the Magikarp. But since I'm slower and they set Parish Song, I believe that I win. Because I did just target the Magikarp just in case. It's always the best, the best play here. Nice. We did it. We won. We beat the Parish Song matchup. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious, that was very scary though. Alright, Parish Song count falls to one. We both die next turn. Oh! They disconnected! The punk! I'm very scared of the Gudra. I'm also scared of the Charizard, because if they're going to go Gudra, I kind of want to go Ferrothorn, but... I think, I think I have to go Cradley, and that doesn't feel very good, because they could very easily beat Cradley with, with Gudra, I think. Probably. Or maybe even the como -O, I don't know. I don't know what como -O does right now. Like, I know what it does, but I don't know what's, what, it, what this one's going to do, if that makes sense. Let's see what they go for. Magikarp, the catch of the day? Oh my god! <laughs> That's so good! That's so good! They went for the Como O. Okay. Um, wow, actually, Como -O resists like all of my moves. That's kind of bad. Um, okay, so I'm gonna Hydro Pump myself. And I guess I have to Max Quake. Huh. I think I lose. 
But you know, if I have to lose the something, I'm glad it's Magikarp the catch of the day. That 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 you know that works for me. So they do max the Como O. So they're gonna max Knuckle probably. Yeah, I think that means they're gonna max Knuckle. Let's see. Hopefully we do a good Andy Luigi C, that's me. I'm about to I think I'm about to lose this great this uh not the great league. I'm about to lose this Como, which means the stream will end. Alright, we got a boost. That's good. They bounce, which is fair. I mean, most of the time these magic cards just bounce. They do just knuckle. How much does this do? More than I would like. I think the next one just KOs, which is actually pretty bad. How much does our Quake do? Oh, <laughs> nothing. Oh, yeah, no, I just... What am I going to do? Hmm... Well, I guess our out here is to try and bounce and just max guard for a turn, see what happens. But I think we lose the Como O. Um, I didn't really have a good answer into it. I guess, I guess PZ was the play, because PZ at least can hit it for super effective. Dang. It be happening sometimes, you know? Alright, so we get the max guard. We bounce. Our win condition is uh, is basically bounce para <laughs> at this point. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Oh, nope. I'm gonna have to just quake. And hope I get bounce para and they don't move. It's all I can do. The suspense is killing me. Paralysis? Please? Please? No dice. No dice. I guess technically we could live the max knuckle, maybe? But I don't think so. Oh, they attacked in a magic card? Okay, that's one way to take away our win condition for sure. Because I don't know what move that max knuckle is coming off of, but life orb card, because why why not? It doesn't really matter. My sash has activated maybe once this whole time. It's also it's also Magikarp the catch of the day, which is just fantastic. If I could have figured out how to get it and I knew that that existed, I would have definitely gotten it. Let me think. I probably don't take an attack here, huh? You know what? Life is short. Let's just meteor beam. I don't take I don't take a close combat anyway, so There's the bounce. That's to be expected. Oh, it's Drain Punch, actually. We might take it? No. No, not a plus two. Yikes. Well, sometimes... Sometimes you win, and sometimes people flex on with Como. I definitely should have brought PZ, because at least it can hit for super effective here. I wasn't expecting as many, like, fighting types to be good, but... Cinderace, Cinderace is the best fighting type in the format, and it's not even fighting type. Alright, let's see where our rating ended up. 269 is not awful. I could do, I could, I could live with that.